All right, so we are going to need to create collections in order to reorder all of our photos into the order I need on the final contact sheet. So we are gonna start by creating a collection set. So um, collection set is going to be review. So I have a review collection set. There's nothing inside of it. I'm going to create a smart collection. And for that smart collection, I'm going to make the uh, selected finals. And under that, I want the rating to be greater than three, greater than or equal to three. I want to, then you'll have to add something. So this didn't say plus. I'm going to add something that's going to be from the source folder. And the folder is going to be my review folder. The name of the folder is right there. So you want to make sure that's the correct name. Um, and I'll create. Okay, so I've created a smart collection and that was actually supposed to be inside of the review collection. So I just clicked and dragged it up into there. So it should be kicked over here. Um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna create another smart collection. And this time I want the grading to be less than or equal to this time it's gonna be two stars or less, and that's gonna be the unused, right? So this is unused photos, just in case I need to pull some more. The same things are gonna apply. Click on the X. I hit create. And then I have one final collection I need to make, and I'm gonna create just a regular collection and this is gonna be my ordered review finals. Okay, inside collection set, review, and I don't need to include selected photos at this time because I'm gonna move photos into there, so this looks all correct. So I've got three collections in here. I have selected photos, those are all my rated photos. I have unused photos, those are the ones rated two or less. So this is three or more, two or less. And this is my ordered photos. So now what I can do with my selected photos, the ones I think I'm going to use, since I've keyworded them all and I've rated them all, I can now press the vertical line or backslash, which is just above the return key. If I press that, it allows me to add a filter for text and I can start searching for keywords. So the first keyword that I'm looking for is wide or wide angle and I'm wanting to choose a wide angle photo, right? So that's not wide angle, that's more of a wide shot. Uh, this one is wide angle at 16 millimeters. Let's look at that one. That's not wide angle either, that's 35 millimeters. So this is really the only wide angle photo I have listed. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that into my ordered review. So that's the first photo in my ordered review. Smart collections cannot be rearranged, which is why we created those. Regular collections can be rearranged, and so that's why we created that particular set. Collection sets cannot be rearranged, so that's just how I'm creating these different uh, different collections. All right, so I'm going back to my selected photos and now I need a portrait photo. And again, I can search by text. So I'm gonna go back to text. I'm gonna change this to portrait. And that one was shot at portrait. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that into my ordered review and I should be able to see now I've got these two together. 
Now, I added it in front of it, and that shouldn't be the order, but I can change my order this way. So if you want to work in reverse order, maybe that would work for you. Work last to first, so you don't have to keep dragging to move these around. Um, if you want to just keep adding the ones you know you have and then move them later, you can do that as well. So that's how you create your collection sets. That's how you work. So I have 96 photos in here and it's based on three stars. So if I decide, okay, I've got these three telephoto photos and I know that's what I'm using them for, I can remove them from the set by hitting the two and re-rating them and that removes them from that collection set and decreases the total number of photos in that collection set. If I decide, oh, you know, I'm missing something, can I go find it with the correct keyword? Okay, uh, actually, I really like this photo as my wide angle, so, uh, and it is wide angle, so I'm gonna go ahead and rate that as a three, but it didn't have the correct keyword, so I'm gonna add that first, wide angle. Okay, so that has the correct keyword now, and I can make it a three star, adds it to the correct set. If I wanna find it again, There it is, okay, this is the one I actually want as my wide angle photo. I go back here and I can move that to the front. This one I can remove by right clicking on it and saying remove from collection. And there we go, now I'm back to what I needed before. So this is how you're gonna work back and forth between your selected photos, your unused photos, and your final ordered review collection sets.